Hi! Magandang araw! My name is Teacher Glenn. In this video, we'll be talking about predictive validity. Predictive validity is under the criterion validity. Meron po siyang dalawang types. It's the concurrent and the predictive validity. Both uses correlation, yung person R at saka Spearman rank. But in this video, we're gonna use Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So let's start. I have five objectives for this video. The first one is to define predictive validity. The second one, to determine the coefficient of determination. The third, use Spearman's rank order correlation to test the correlations between two data sets. Then, of course, we're going to interpret the result of that computed correlation. And finally, we're going to test the significance of the coefficient using five steps of hypothesis testing. So let's start. Predictive validity, by definition, pertains to the power or usefulness of test scores to predict future performance. So, napakaganda ng predictive validity na ito. Kaya niyang i-predict ang iyong future performance gamit ang isang measuring tool o isang test. So, for instance, can a score in an admission test, so the predictor is the admission test, be used to predict college success? College success is the criterion. The answer, if there is a significant high correlation. So the condition is significant and then high correlation between admission test scores and first year grade point average assessed a year later. So meron siyang time interval. So if the condition is met, significant high correlation, then there is a predictive validity of our predictor. So let me show you a clear example. 10 applicants for the position of an international firm accountant were ranked in the CPA board performance in college. They were also ranked in actual job performance. The data gathered are tabulated below where the highest is 1 and the lowest rank is 10. So first, the employers rank these applicants in their actual job performance. And also, the employers look into the CPA ratings of these applicants and then they rank them from highest to lowest. So in our data, the given are rank in CPA board and rank in actual job performance. So if this happens, the statistical tool that we need to use is the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This is the formula. This is the Greek letter rho. We can write it in this manner, or we can write it in R sub S. It's now equal to 1 minus the quotient of 6 times the summation of D squared and the difference of N cubed and N. D is the difference in the ranks and N is the number of pairs. So the N here is 10 because there are 10 pairs. And then D now is the difference, so we're going to take the difference of the ranks. So this is now the column D. And if we take the difference, that's 6 minus 5 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 7 is negative 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1, and then 7 minus 10 is negative 3. What we need in the formula is d squared. So kailangan natin is square ang value ng d. So 1 squared, that's 1 times 1, 1, 1. So all of these are 1. All 1 squared is 1. And then we have a negative 2. Square that, that would be positive 4. 2 is positive 4. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. There you go. And after that, we take the summation of this. Ia add lang natin silang lahat. So we call that the summation of d squared. And the sum of this is exactly 32. So we're now ready to use the formula. So we have R sub S is now equal to 1 minus the constant 6 multiplied to the summation of D squared, which is 32, divided by N cubed, that's 10 cubed, minus the N is 10. So if we simplify this, we have 1 minus 6 times 32 is 192. And then the denominator 10 cubed is 1000, minus 10 is 990. Using your calculator, you end up with a value of 0 0.806. So I took the three decimal place. Now, what is the interpretation of this computed coefficient, 0 0.806? We're going to use the interpretation by Dancy and 
ready in 2004. So the descriptor applies to both positive and negative relationship. And our R value is 0 0.806, it's positive. So it belongs to this range and therefore our interpretation is very high and then we insert positive because the value of R is positive. Very high positive relationship. So let's take a quick look of what happened. First, we look at the predictor, which is the CPA board examination, and then the criterion is the job performance. The Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is 0.81 in two decimal place. And then we have a degree of relationship, which is very high positive relationship. Now the question is, is there a significant correlation between the CPA board rating and job performance? Yes, we computed the correlation, which is 0.81, and it's very high positive relationship. However, is this significant? That's why we raised this question. And this is a statistical question, so we need some hypothesis testing to answer this question. So I'm going to show you now the five steps in hypothesis testing. The first one is to write down or state your hypothesis. We start with the null hypothesis, that's HO. There is no significant relationship between the two variables. And then followed by the alternative hypothesis, which is stated as there is significant relationship between the two variables. So step two, we now take a look at the test statistics. Since the n value, the number of pairs, is less than 30, we will make use of t-statistics. So step three now is to take the critical value. We now choose two-tailed tests in our t-tests, and we choose the significant level as 1%. So our alpha level is 1%. Uh, this means that our confidence interval or confidence level is 99%. And so alpha level in decimal place is 0 0.01. We also take the degrees of freedom, where this is the difference of n value and the number of variables. Dalawa yung variable natin, CPA board rating and the job performance. So that's 2. That means we have 10 minus 2 is 8. So for the critical value, we have this T critical with alpha level of 0 0.01 and degrees of freedom of 8. It's equivalent to 3.355. Now, how did I arrive to this value of 3.355? So sa lahat po ng statistics book, sa likod niya, makikita niyo yung mga tables about distribution. So hanapin niyo, we choose the T distribution, critical values of T. And in our study, we made use of the two-tailed test. So ito po ang gagamitin nating significance level. And we actually choose the 1% significance level. And the degrees of freedom is 8. So if we look at the intersection of these two, values, we have 3.355. You can also check this in Google. Kung wala po kayong libro ng statistics, Google nyo lang po ang t-distribution and you can use the table as well. Okay, so how do we understand this 3.355? We have here the normal distribution. So we have the 0 and then going to the right is positive 1, 2, 3 and up. And then going to the left is negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3 up. 3.355 is located somewhere here. So ito ang 3, 3.5 is somewhere here, and we have 3.355 is somewhere located there. This is the first tail. Since we are using two-tailed, we also look at the other tail. Location of negative 3.355 is located here, and we shade the region. So the shaded region are what we call the critical region. The non-shaded part, or non-shaded region is what we call the non-critical region. Kapag nag-compute po tayo ng t-test at lumabas na ang value niya ay nandito sa shaded region, either to the left tail or to the right tail, i-accept po natin ang alternative hypothesis. We reject the null and accept the alternative hypothesis, stating that there is a significant relationship. Otherwise, kung ang nakompute nating t-statistics ay nasa non-critical region, then we accept the null hypothesis. So let's go to step four, the computation. This will be the computation, and this is the formula. 
So the computed R multiplied to the square root of the degrees of freedom divided by the square root of 1 minus the square of the computed R. If you substitute it properly and computed properly and correctly, you end up with a value of 3.85. So what is now the decision? That's the step 5. Since the T statistics, which is equal to 3.85, is greater than the T critical, which is equivalent to 3.355, then we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So ulitin natin, our critical region is in 3.355. This is the shaded part of the critical region. Now, 3.85 is actually in this area. It's on the shaded part. That's why we rejected the null hypothesis and accepted the alternative hypothesis. So what's the conclusion then? There is a significant, strong, positive relationship between these two variables, CPA board rating and job performance. Furthermore, as the CPA board rating increases, the job performance also increases. So that's the hypothesis testing. So again, another summary in the context of predictive validity. Again, the predictor is CPA board examination. Criterion is the job performance. The Spearman ranks correlation coefficient is 0.81 and the degree of relationship is very high positive relationship. We asked a question a while ago, is there a significant relationship between the CPA board rating and the job performance? And the answer, at 99% confidence interval. Take note na ang pinili natin, alpha level is 1%. So, ang confidence level natin ngayon ay 99%. There is a significant relationship between these two variables. Conclusion, there is a significant high correlation between the CPA board rating and the job performance rating. Then, the CPA board examination test has a predictive validity. Now, we haven't talked about the coefficient of determination yet. This is simply the square of the computed R. Remember that our computed R is 0.806. And if we square this, the value is 0.65. Now, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nito? This means that 65% of the job performance of the applicants may be explained by their ratings in the CPA board exam. So you see, it's significant. And then by percentage, 65% now of the job performance is directly related to your board exam rating. But this is just 65%. Nasaan naman yung 35%? Well, it also implies that there are other factors. So that other factors now is the 35% that contribute to the criterion variable. The criterion variable is our job performance. So employers may then look into variables such as, ito ay hula ko lang naman, years of experience, motivation, and others. So what did we do in this video? First, we computed the Spearman rank correlation coefficient and we have a value of 0 0.806. We interpreted this as very high positive relationship. So the next thing is the significance. Is, is it significant? That's the question. So we have conducted a hypothesis testing and on the decision part, the step five, we rejected the null hypothesis, meaning we accept the alternative hypothesis, which state that there is significant relationship between the job performance and the CPA board rating. And finally, we look at that significant relationship. Ilang percent ba yon? That's the coefficient of determination. And that is 65% now of the job performance is directly related to the CPA board rating. So that's all about predictive validity under criterion validity. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.